Rival with us, uh, tough match today, Captain? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a very important match for us. I think we are a little bit short with the runs, the way we get a start. But yeah, they, they bet it really well in a power play. And uh, you have one more match to go. Uh, the top positions can still sway for you guys. How are you approaching that? Yeah, we have a day off to tomorrow. So we're just going to reassess all our plans. We're going to sit together. And uh, we're going to come back strong. Peter Delapena with ESPN Creek Info. Avni, a couple questions to start off with. Saad Ben Zafar not going into the match with the left arm spinner. Why was he left out today? Uh, actually, Saad has a little bit of injury on his uh, left side. So it was like a dicey call. Uh, he can't bat, actually. Bowling was still OK. So we thought we are going to go with the extra batsman as the way we batted last match. But yeah, he was around 60% today. He was not completely fit. The bowling plans outside the power play, you had set fields for the majority of the time outside the six overs, basically to bowl short. You had final leg, deep third man back, deep Eckhart squared point, and yet so many times bowers were bowling full outside off with mid off up, driven for four. What was happening there that the bowers didn't seem like they were sticking to the plan? It seems like the field settings and the bowling was out of sync. I think most of the time, uh, like their plans were simple to ball short as the squares were bigger. But yeah, I think the only ball they bowled up is just a change off. But uh, I think that someone, if they get a momentum, it's very hard in T20 to get it back. The only way we can do is if we get like two or three wickets, then we get a chance to come back into the wicket, which never happens. I think credit goes to the Oman batsmen, the way they played. On that point about not having enough runs, again, selection-wise or strategy-wise, Hamza Tariq had a big finish in the match. I believe it was against Nigeria, hitting quite a few sixes towards the end of the innings. And you needed a big push at the end. Why was he not sent in in the position that Abrash Khan came in with about six overs to go? Uh, the last match, Abrash Khan finished really well. I think on this wicket, if the proper batsman going to go, uh, it's about six over left, so uh, he has a better chance to hit the ball and connect it. And uh, Hamza Tariq, if if we give like 18 balls to Hamza Tariq, he's gonna be more effective. Yes, that backfire us uh, backfire that today, but we're gonna rethink about it and gonna come back strong in UAE game. Knowing that UAE is a little bit short-handed with their squad situation that's been unfolding for the last week or so. How confident are you going into that match knowing that basically win and you're in the playoffs but lose, there's a very good chance you may fall below that fourth position? Uh, right now, I'm not thinking much about UA team. Our more focus is about ourselves. We need to fix uh, our execution and adapting to the wicket. Uh, so it's not about UAE anymore. It's just focus on our plans and executing that. If Saad was not fit tonight, again, having a variety in your ta the attack, I know you talked about wanting to play an extra batsman, but why was or, or was Junaid Siddiqui uh, considered at all? Because, again, your, your spin options were very one-dimensional tonight, and what is... Saad's fitness status, I guess, going into that last match with a day off, and, and if he can't go, what are the realistic chances of Junaid coming in? Uh, the reason we went with Iranga today is, firstly, the Iranga bowled really well in last match, and Iranga is also a left arm. He can bowl a lot of slower balls. Uh, other than that, uh, he can bowl in a death. So I think the better option uh, was to go with Iranga than a spinner. And we thought we we're going to get like one or two in us starting, and they have lefties in the middle. And Nitesh going to bowl at least three or four either way. So our plan is to use Nitesh as a fourth bowler, a fifth bowler, sorry. And uh, so Ranga is, has a better opportunity to finish well uh, in, a, in a death overs. So that was the thinking behind it. But again, Saad's fitness status, you said he's 60% as of today. Yes. What's the projection? for 48 hours from now? Uh, let's see. Like we, uh, we need to f firstly see the, see the wicket we're going to play on. If it's a 
kind of a same wicket. Uh, I, I think it's more about uh, how he feel in batting, right? Right now he can't play anything square. So if he's a little bit okay, then like 10% more, we'll go with the Saad. That's it. Yeah, I don't have any more. Thank you so much, Amit. Yes, yeah. Thank you.